Hi everyone! Today we're going to make pool noodle rocket flingers, which is a great craft that brings together science and a whole lot of fun. Let's go! Foam pool noodle, serrated knife, box cutter, two to three rubber bands, thicker, like size number 64, bamboo skewer, tape, I recommend using colorful duct tape, scissors, paperboard, old cereal or cracker boxes work great, glue sticks, glue gun and glue, optional. Guys, today we're gonna build something really awesome. We are gonna make these pool noodle rocket flingers. Aren't they neat? So yeah. And you can fling them on your own. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to show you how to make your pool noodle rocket flinger. First, start with a bit of pool noodle. A serrated bread knife works really well to cut these down. Next, you're going to create the fins. You can make a template for your kids. It might make it easier for them to create all of them. We just used some old cardboard from cereal boxes. They can trace the fin and then cut around it. If your little one needs help and has a hard time cutting, you can cut it for them. How many do we need? You need three fins. Are these supposed to be the same shape? Because they're not see. exactly the same. It's okay if they're a little different. Good I job. Think the yellow one is different. So this is gonna give our rocket some Which balance. To, to decorate our fins, we decided to take some construction paper and glue it to the outside. Put glue on it and then flip it over and stick it down. Okay. And then cut it out. Oh, okay. Nice, I like the blue fin. Next. This is where you might need to help your kids as well. I don't trust my little ones with a box cutter. So you're gonna take a box cutter and you're simply gonna cut down the edge of the pool noodle and you are going to slide it into place. Just slide it in there. Does it need to I had to make Rachel's a little bit longer. Then you need to slide in. Oh, yeah, it should slide in pretty easily. Well, mine needs to be longer. Yours needs to be longer too. Do you think your rocket would fly if it didn't have these? Nope, no. Not very well, would it? If you want it to stay in place a little bit better, use some hot glue and glue down the edge of your fin on each side. Then slide it back into the pool noodle. And that'll just give it a little bit more longevity. All right, Benjamin, we're gonna add some hot glue just so they stay attached to your pool no noodle a little better. So when you fly it, yeah. When your kids create detailed crafts like this, they are learning so much. For instance, they are learning to follow directions in order. So how do you glue it? Did you just, just on the edges of the part that's gonna go into your pool noodle. On each do, uh -huh, side? Just do one line, uh-huh, one line down, and then one on the other side. They are also learning how to strengthen their fine motor skills. This is so important as they go on to build other things in life or they learn to create using their hands. Just be careful with that hot glue gun. All right, now take your pool noodle and slide one of those into there, and you might have to wiggle it a little, a little bit since it has glue on it. To create the power in your rocket, you're gonna need a bamboo skewer. And I told my kids to take their two fingers, cause that's about an inch, and go down about that length on their pool noodle. And you're gonna take the bamboo skewer, go all the way through the pool noodle, and tell them to rotate it a little bit to make the hole a little bit bigger. Okay guys, now that your fins are in place, we are going to create the energy, the power behind your rocket. These so are we, so cool. they are so cool. I need everybody to grab a skewer, grab one of these bamboo mm -hmm. skewers, and go down about an inch on your pool noodle. And that's where you're gonna put a hole all the way through, straight through your pool noodle. Even like through that. the other side? Yep, through the other side. It's and kind of wiggle it around, make the hole just a little bit bigger for you to make it easier to put the rubber band through. And then you can bring it back out. And then, parents, this is where your kids might need some help. You're gonna take a rubber band, and on the not pointy side of your bamboo skewer, you're gonna attach the rubber band, and the goal is for you to slide this through the pool noodle all the way to the other side. 
It's a little tough to get that rubber band to stay on the skewer, but once you do, you can slide that skewer out like that, and you should have something like that. Okay, now do. Okay, now take a rubber band and kind of thread it onto your skewer like this. And you don't have to go far down. Yep, just a little bit down so you can hold it tightly. It won't stay on. Yeah, that's why the closer you hold to the tip, the better. There you go, like that. This is simply to thread it through your rocket. I have to say, I was very impressed by this craft. It was a lot of fun to make. It was probably a very detailed craft, so if you have younger children, I would definitely recommend that you be there helping them all along the way. Once you have that on there, you're gonna take it, you watching? You're gonna slide it through the hole. the hole to the other side. And you're gonna wanna try to keep it onto it your stay. skewer. When I poke through, it falls off. Okay, I'll help you. When you finally do get it through, you can just pull the skewer out and then your rubber band's through it. Then you're gonna take another rubber band and holding this the first rubber band to make sure that it doesn't slide back out, you're gonna take your finger and pull the middle of the rubber band. All right, let me show you how to do it. And then if you need help, I will help you because this is a little bit tricky. You don't want this to fall through, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this with one hand. Then I'm gonna pull this out from the middle and I'm gonna get my rubber band underneath there. Next, you're gonna take your second rubber band, slide it underneath, and then put it on like a luggage tag, like so. And you guys, you've seen luggage tags. Remember how the luggage tags went on? You're gonna take your rubber band. Did you get it? I guess. You're gonna pull it through like a luggage tag so it stays on. Once that's in place, you're almost done. You're gonna take the first rubber band and go around both sides of the pool noodle. And once that's firmly in place, you're almost ready to fly your rocket. Now, now take th that and go, and go through it. Yep, you did it, good job. This craft gives you a great chance to talk to your kids about big science ideas. For instance, when they make their pool noodles and connect the rubber band, you can stretch that rubber band out and ask them, is that potential energy or actually energy in motion? And then once they let it go, it changes to kinetic energy. I'm gonna wrap one side around and wrap the other side around. We took some tape and you're gonna to wanna to cover the outside of that rubber band, just so it stays in place. You might wanna go around a couple times. You can help your child do this. My kids had fun doing the tape. I'm doing it uh, double tape. Yeah, that's fine, you can do two. And then once the tape is in place, your power is ready and you're ready to fly. Three, two, one. I loved getting to see my kids actually fly the rocket flingers. Three, two, one. Woohoo! Good job, go get it. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 We hope you and your family had a lot of fun making the pool noodle rocket flingers. Tips, tricks, comments, we'd love to hear them. Share them below. Thanks for watching.